All right, you guys, today we're check out how to create the multicolor stencil effect here in Photoshop inspired from Texture Labs. All right, so I'm gonna go with this model as a reference and I'm gonna go with this artboard size. And let's go to taskbar and click on remove background. All right, so after removing the background, we're gonna go to the layer and let's go and select the mask. And we're gonna need to clean this up a little bit more. So let's go to the properties and click on select and mask. Here we're going to need to clean up these edges. So what I'm going to do is go here to the shift edges and decrease it. I'm going to decrease it all the way. All right, so I'm going to click OK. And let's go to the adjustment layers. Let's go and select the solid color. Here I'm going to go and select the color, click OK, and drag it under the model layer. Next, I'm going to select the layer with the model. I'm also going to rename it as subject. All right click on the layer, select convert smart object. Now let's go to the adjustments and I'm going to go and select the hue saturation. Here I'm going to go to the saturation and I'm going to decrease it all the way to minus 100. And let's go down to the layers, press Ctrl J on the solid to duplicate it. And I'm going to bring this all the way to the top. And here I'm going to go to the blend mode and let's switch it to hard mix. So here as you can see it's going to separate the colors in three. So I'm going to go and double click on the fill. And I'm going to try to choose another color. I'm going to go with this uh, purple. So this way we're going to have like four colors. And I'm going to go with this, click OK. So from here we're going to need to customize the colors separately. So I'm going to go back to the adjustments. And let's select the black and white. And as you can see if I zoom in this gray is going to be too light. So this light gray is actually the pink color. And you can modify this with the magenta. So I'm going to go and decrease it. Is going to add more contrast and I'm going to go with 60 here and we're going to go to the blue and the blue I'm going to decrease it. I'm going to go with like 30. So make sure to remember these two values that you entered because we're going to need these in the next step. So let's go back to the adjustments and select the gradient map. Click on the gradient and here we're going to go to the handle and click here to add another handle. Click on the color and change it. So I'm going to make this pink, click OK. This should be on 30. And I'm going to add another handle and this is going to be on 60. Well, let's go and change up the color. This is going to be blue, click OK. And the white, I think I'm going to go with like yellow. And click OK. All right, so from here we're going to need to emphasize that stencil effect. So I'm going to go and select the layer with the subject. And let's go to the filter. Let's go to stylize and select the oil paint. So here make sure to uncheck the lighting and in my situation I increase the cleanliness all the way to 100, I mean to 10, scale 10, a Bristol detail 10 and I'm going to decrease the stylization a little bit more so we can have more details. I'm going to go with 6. Click OK. You also can go and apply some contrast, go to image adjustments and let's go and select the shadows highlights. Here you can customize the amount. For example, if you decrease it, it's going to add more black. And you also can customize the mid-tone. And this is going to customize the blue and also the black. So I think I'm going to go with this value. Click OK. And let's go to the layer with the subject. And I'm going to press Ctrl J to duplicate. Make sure that you're on the layer with the top subject. And let's go back to the filter. And check this out. We got here the oil paint at the top. So we're going to need to apply another oil paint. Click on it. And here what I'm going to do is increase the stylization even more. So it's going to eliminate a little bit more details. Click OK. And I'm going to go to the filter again. Apply another oil paint. Click OK. And I'm going to apply another one. Until it's going to give that stencil look. So in my situation I'm going to go with like six oil paint copies. If you want to gain back some details you can go click on the subject layer and add a mask. Click on the mask. And let's go and select the brush tool, make sure that you're on the black, zoom in. Now, for example, I'm going to go and add some details here and the other eye and also add the teeth. Now, if you want to push in another color to have like five colors, all you need to do is press and hold alt. And I'm going to go to the layer with the subject and let's go and click in between the layer with the subject until you're going to see this arrow pointing downwards. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to do it again in between these layers and with all the layers and I'm going to scroll down and I'm also going to click in between the layers with these two subjects. So now we got a fifth color and I can change up the background separately. I'm also going to drag and drop some textures downloaded from a Brecken design. I'm also going to leave a link in the description so you can download them. 
and I'm gonna change up the blend mode and I think I'm gonna go with like hard light. And that's how I make this stencil trick here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.